Okay, let's go for it. It's a good twin deck. Yeah, the deck pretty much has it all. Yeah, this is a keep. Yeah, we keep. I mean, it, 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 we wanted like a Mox and a Signet. Yeah, so we could go a bit closer to the six. I mean, this is far away. Yeah, so maybe that's the downside of this. Now we can repeal something if we want to, and we can magnet something yeah. to scry and buy us some time. And if we draw Ancient Grudge, we can <laughs> cast that twice. Yeah, Ancient Grudge is good. Okay, so we're on the play. Mm -hmm. Mana is good. 10, 10, 4. 5. Yeah, 10, 10, 5. Oh. Yeah. So mana could be... I mean, obviously we could have a blue-red fetchable land. That's also something... Steamments or... Volcanic. Yeah. That would have made the deck yeah, better. Sure, sure. And so, some more cheap ramp. Mm -hmm. But the spells are all good. Okay, white, blue, eh? Yeah. So now we have to try to find... <laughs> See if this the is... The combo piece. Okay, so we can... Next turn we can repeal that if we want. Uh, yeah, we don't have the grudge. No, not in no, you, no uh, uh, yeah, you just said grudge. We can magma yet their face to scry. We could wait one turn. Yeah, but I, I guess next turn, if we don't find anything, we would like to repeal the signet. Okay, so yeah, because it, they might not even have creatures. No. This could be wrong. Okay, ancient grudge is good. We can take... We can take the temple too. Yeah. So take Temple and the Ancient Grudge, and then we untap Ancient Grudge, the Groom Signet, and then have an Ancient Grudge up again. No, then you should have Ah, it. okay, uh, yeah, but I don't think it will matter. We can still do it later. So we're crippling our opponent a bit, and we are actually slowly... Building to the title. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so I could have played Mountain. Yep. So you see, we, they could have had like a 5 drop here, and, or a 4 drop, I mean. Temple. Hold on. Ah, okay. Do we take it for the Titan? Hmm. Eh. No. I don't think so. And now we also have Repeal for 2. Could be we have Repeal and we have Grudge. Maldry okay, they're revoked. revoking, so that doesn't do anything for us. No. So we're playing against Esper. Esper Control. Which could be hard. Yeah. We need to find a spot. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope they tap out then. Yeah, that's our only hope. We have it now. We have it. They could have Thorsis. Vamp Tutor. Okay. Hopefully they tap out for a coercive portal or something. <laughs> coercive portal. Hmm. Play a planeswalker. Putrid Imp. Hmm. Discard. Priestel Brand. And reanimate. They, they, okay, this is reanimator. They don't have double black, so they can't discard Iona. Yeah, okay. And reanimate it for blue, but then we answer with Pestermite. Yeah. And then and we go win. sprint it with win. win. Uh, hmm. Animate dead. Probably. Yeah. So we have to do it can you answer? Yeah, I have to do. We it can now. repeal the enemy dead. No, it no, it, not if he says blue. Oh, okay. What happens now if? What does it say? Choose a color. So I don't think anything goes on the stack here. Mm. I think we have to play Pestamite now. But then he will just say red, and then we can repeal. Then we can repeal. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know how this works, but uh, does Iona go on the stack? Is the question. I think they just choose. No, they just choose blue, okay. and then blue is blue. Yeah. So Pestermite tap the temple. They could have a counter spell here. But then it is what it is. Ah, do you know what to do? We untap a land, so we can repeal end step. Yeah, but then they could have counter spell up. That's why I wanted to. No, but then you would have countered here. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> okay. No F6. Yeah. Ah, yeah, we can do it now, probably. Now we can target it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can. What? Ah, what happens then? It it leaves. It's not like the trigger is on the stack. No. And then it stays. No, 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 no. No, it it says when animate dead leaves the battlefield. Maybe it doesn't see when it leaves the battlefield. Yeah, the creature is not there then. Okay. Uh, I okay, think this wait. is risky. Okay, wait then. Because if we. If the trigger is now, enter. I'm not sure. But it doesn't matter. If they name red, if they name blue, we just untap and play Splint Between. If they name blue, we can just untap and play Splint Between. So they said red, yeah. So now we can bounce it. And make that. Mm -hmm. Because there are sometimes weird shenanigans yeah, know, you can do with like Oblivion Ring. I know. That you, you flicker the Oblivion Ring and then it, the, the permanent is gone forever. Yeah. Okay, just play it. They could have mana. Lead. They could have sandbagged it, but they have already... Mm. They only have two... Cards that we don't know about. Yeah, okay. I didn't feel like they had it since we did so much stuff. <clears throat> okay, so reanimate. <laughs> we were only have red cards over here. Yeah. We, I mean, it's spell piercing force weed. We have stuff. Yeah, I know. Okay, five mana and Jace, but we can brainstorm later if we get to Jace. I guess it could be annoying if they reanimate something early. But yeah, so we, can we have some. We can tap it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can tap it for a turn and then maybe bounce it. Okay, mm. We did not need that. No. Jay's turn three is cooler than Jay's turn two. Uh, I mean turn four. Ah, recruiter is good. So now we can ice upkeep if you want to, just to draw a card. Eh. Brainstorm. Ice the swamp upkeep. I say do it. Do we need to play ice? Why do you have it locked? Uh, I don't want to misclick. <coughs> I think, but you, no, I think you just ice the temple. It's white and blue. <laughs> yeah, but the swamp is the one that he doesn't have anything to react. We don't have to use it now. Okay. Eh. It cycles and it next turn we're not using it. Next turn we're using it. I mean, if they do something now, we can ice it next turn and then bounce it with Jace maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yesterday I had uh, Fire Eyes under Isochron Scepter. That was pretty cool. Phyrexian Arena. Ah, we could have ah, maybe not that play that. So Imperial Recruiter for. For, I uh, guess we just fetch now. Fetch the Taiga. Mm. We have too many lands. 
get Pestermite? Or do we do we get Glenelendra? Or Maldrifter? So many <laughs> choices. Hmm. Glenelendra is very good. There we take Glenelendra. The problem is we have to land her as well. Yeah. But they don't, I don't think they have many... Glenelendra is good against Reanimator. Because it can counter reanimate spells. But we're casting Jace, probably. No, because no, next turn we can... Because it's better to cast her when we have one blue up. Yeah. ta -ding. Okay. Reanimating Iona is... would be annoying. Yeah, but we can bounce Iona with Jace. No, because he will say blue. I mean, don't, don't, maybe we'll. Phyrexian Arena is good. I, I think it's bad. No, I like it. In the cube. Double black. And cheap. Eh. It, it generates card advantage. He wouldn't have had it. Yeah, I mean, if, in a slow matchup it's good. But it, it's not like a broken card. No, I guess not. I like the portal better because it's colorless. So we play Jace, yeah. Attack. Imperial Recruiter. That's a good card. I like the new white card as well. The yeah. Imperial. It's harder to get to work. The guard or whatever it's called. The guarding guard. Oh, we could have kept the fetch for Jace. Yeah. Bzz, 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 bzz. Mm-hmm. Okay, so put back two lands. We could probe. Yeah, probe. Because we don't need anything for it. We can probe next turn. <laughs> That's your answer to everything. But that because then we know if Glenelendra is just ah, okay. being able to be cast. Okay. And we can first use Jay's brainstorm and see if we can draw something good. Oh, ancestral. Oh my god. Hmm. Broken. Mm -hmm. Good shit. So they have 10 cards in hand. How can we beat that? Jace. We have Jace. Yeah. Maybe if they reanimate something and give it haste and kill Jace, then I'm, then I'm worried. She's also value. Mm -hmm. She's very cool. Good, good picture. Yeah, good art and the good planeswalker. But next turn we're playing the island and the goggles. Yeah, we'd have had her in our goggle draft. Yeah, ooh, <laughs> start off the the goggle draft with Chandra. So play Glenelendra next turn. Start. We start by brainstorming, then we probe, then we Glenelendra. Why not probe first? Because we can. If Jace finds us cards that we really want, we can ah cracker. Cracker. Okay, that answered the question. So now we have two lands on top. Mm, but we can probe. <laughs> I, I just want Glenelandra out there. Let's discard a land, I guess. Ooh, or Mask of Worm. Okay, so play Island. Play Glenelandra. Mind twist. Ouch. Okay, so Silver is good. Oh, their, their entire hand is good. Mm. How much mana do they have? They have five, six, seven, eight. What? Five, six. Eight. Yeah, but next turn they will have six, six so six. they can just play Dragonlord Silver, take Glenelandra. And then next turn they can puppeteer click the Massacre Worm. No, this is from my graveyard. Okay. But they, they can in burial rights. In burial rights. In yeah, burial but it's rights. better to play Glenelandra. And then next turn we can Chandra and fire Silver and get Glenelandra back. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, if we if they let us. Now they can't at least mind twist our, our hand away. No. They will. They will just play Silumgar, take and Lendra. Yeah, and then we kill Silumgar, and then they mind twist, and then we have Glenelendra and Chandra in play. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to cast a Muldrift as well. Okay, so here comes Silumgar. As expected. Yeah, but they're tapped out. And, and this actually is good for us. Because as you said, now we can fire and Chandra. But we can't have blue up. Yeah, we can. Because Chandra's plus ability makes ah, two red. No but, no, but we have to use the minus. We have to use yeah, the well, minus. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to use the minus. Okay, so then they will mind twist us. Probably. Oh, no, they will just... No, oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Because now they can just massacre worm. Yeah, but kill. that's fine. Uh, pretty annoying. How can we deal with Massacre Worm? We can deal with it. <laughs> yeah, being able to have one blue up now would have been so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be broken. So, so good. But it depends what they do now. They have no Silum guy. Ah, they can in burial rights. The, and take Chandra. No, and get Silum guy back. Yeah, and steal Chandra, for yeah. example. Yeah, they have a bit. They get got a lot of cards from uh, the ancestral recall, and then now the arena. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, they have many options. All of them are good, I guess. Because they, they could just mind twist us. Yeah, that's also good. <laughs> I mean, they could do... But they're not getting Massacre Worm. That's bad. That's probably the worst. They should at least get that and steal one of those two. Yeah. Oh. And then we Maldrift. Yeah, I mean, the deck is not made to destroy stuff that has more than four toughness. <laughs> Dragon Lord Stilling are always good. Yeah, I love always it. Good. Yeah, it's very good. When people are playing Eureka and... Show and tell and whatever. They could just mind twist for four and wait a turn. Yeah. That's not bad either. No. I guess then we can have Glenlendra up. So maybe that's not great. No, and very right for... Yeah, they, they, they can't let us have uh, those two in play, I think. No. Ah, but... Yeah, it is pretty hard. I don't know what I would have done. I think I would have Amber rights. Yeah, for Silumgar taking Chandra, or I would probably take Lendra. Mm. Chandra, can, he can just kill Chandra next turn mm -hmm. uh, because he can have one blue up. Now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That this is probably the best play. No. Ah, he has mind twist. He has mind twist. Because we could have Kiki the recruiter for Pestermite. Yeah. That's a cool play you can do. We can do that. Yeah, we can plus Chandra can for twist two. Away. No, we can plus Chandra for two red. And then we have enough mana to do it all. And just hope. No, but then he will just. Use no, then he will just get massacre worm, <laughs> and then we lose. Yeah, because we don't have the silver XR. Nope. Yeah, because we we yeah we can't do two, four, five. Then we can't get uh, the three, three that yeah. survives the no. worm. No. We can repeal Silumgar. No, he can counter it. Yeah, uh, I think we just lose. We can plus Chandra and see if we... <laughs> I mean, what can we get? He will mind twist us next turn. Yeah. So we can evoke... No. We, we probably want to play... The problem is that he can kill... 
Do we have we have spell pierce? Ah, but they can just no. We can play around that with Glenelandra. Yeah, I, I don't see ah a good. But if we spe if we re no, we can't repeat. Uh, I guess we can try, but he will just. I guess he will counter it. Because if we go Kiki Jiki into Pestermite, then he will just unburial rights the master. Yeah, but we don't play Pestermite. No, but ah, yeah, we do that. We go for that. Okay. But he still has Glenelandra then. <laughs> for Against Splinter Twin. No, it's Kiki Jiki that we win with. Yeah, but Kiki Jiki will die. Yeah, but and I'm not so sure. We go Kiki Jiki. Okay. I think I would I would at least use the Umbrella rights. And then we can just wait. Just wait. Should we do it? No, we don't need to. Because then he may, maybe he thinks, oh, now I can mind twist it away. <laughs> but then we will just... I think we go for it. If he just... Um, oh, yeah, maybe he does a mistake. I'm just hoping that we can somehow fool him to go mind twist. We can make infinite pestermite. Look, couldn't we have... We can make infinite pestermite tokens. No, the Kiki Jiki will be tapped. Okay, he had the downfall. Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered. And then mind twist for three. Okay, just... Okay. Okay, but at least this made him go downfall instead. Mm -hmm. And we can still get the Pestermite. Some burn now wouldn't be so that bad, right? Hmm. Ah, and he had the fifth land. Yeah, but the Unburial Rights is here, it costs four. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, whatever, we are in a pretty bad spot. <laughs> if we can get him to tap out of blue and just peel the splinter twin off the top. We have a Maldrifter we can evoke and still have four mana. Because if he goes for Mind Twist now, then we Pestermite. throw Pi Pestermite out <laughs> and hope, and that, hope we draw. that Chandra and the draw step. Chandra will die. Oh. We, we will only have the draw step. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, we can also... Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, let's just wait and see what it does. <laughs> it feels like we're miles behind. Yeah. Yeah, our opponents have seven cards in them as well. <laughs> so they have all the answers. Yeah, they have drawn like seven more cards than we have or something. Six in Arena. Yeah, but it was also... The, the, the Arena was a pretty slow train. This is rights for Worm, I think. No? Yeah, for worm. Okay, but now, now we just do that. We tap the island down with Pestermite and hope to get there. We have now we have an emo evoke with Maldrifter as well. So we have this can win us the game. Do we tap the island? Yeah. So you can't use Glenelendra. Ah, yeah. Because we're not dead. I mean, we could also have minus Ch Chandra. No, didn't have it. No. Yeah, so Chandra down. Yeah, so we have we have a, we have some outs. Yeah, but it's I mean Paul Sheon, he would have won here. He would just draw it from the top. Yep. His twenty-eight matches in a row streak was insane. You can have four so will or. 
Oh, force bite doesn't do it here. Okay, come on, deck. <laughs> Please give us the land. Or not the land. The spin the twin. Don't say a land. I, I, uh, Can we bounce something? No, but if you had tapped differently, I guess we could have repealed nothing. That doesn't work. Okay. Okay, so evoke Maldrifter first. Are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. Are we? Yeah, he has 11 power on the board. We have a jump blocker, I guess. Yeah, but what if we play Sphinx? He has 7 cards in hand. No, I think we should go for it. If we play Sphinx... Yeah, he has 7 cards in hand. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I know you want to. Two more cards. Come on. You could have the fours. Yeah, sure. He could just get... Ooh, conscript. Doesn't work. But we can... Can, can we kill him? Yep. Oof. Yeah, we can. We can. We can take Massacre Worm. And uh, hit him for 8, 9, 10, 11. He could have the force. Yeah, but then he, then he were dead. <laughs> cool. We had outs. Yeah, we had outs. So three new cards. Mm -hmm. Did not see that coming. Mm -hmm. How far? Uh, how far away was something else? Bolt. Pretty, Pretty far, far away. away. Very far away, kid. Down there. Uh, okay. Keeping the streak alive. Yeah. Uh, see you for next match. Yes.